Water, an essential ingredient of life. The thing that covers the majority of the surface of our planet, and also a thing that is the source of tremendous pain and suffering throughout the world. In the US, more than 30 million Americans live in areas without access to clean water, according to the EPA. That's more people than live in Texas, or about triple the amount of people in Sweden. So it's a massive problem, both at home and abroad. And that's why back in 2019, when I discovered one company based in Arizona doing something about it, I got really excited about the potential. Source is a company based in the Sonoran Desert of Arizona, and it makes these hydro panels that extract the hydrogen and oxygen from the air using a built-in solar panel, and then they feed that directly into a tap to produce what they call perfect drinking water. And last year, I installed two of these on my roof in my home in San Diego to see if they really worked or if the hype was just that, hype. So let's dive in today and see exactly how these panels have performed on my roof and what I've learned throughout this entire time. All told, the panels on my roof produced over 2,500 liters of water, which is about 5,000 bottles of water or a fresh case of water every single day. If we break down the math on that, we find that the initial cost of the panels plus install come to $6,000. The annual maintenance is $100 and the warranty is for 15 years, giving us a grand total of $7,500 across 15 years. Across that 15 year time period, the panels will produce around 38,000 liters of water, which comes out to about 20 cents per liter or about half the cost of bottled water from Costco. Okay, so I'm on this side of the roof right now and I just wanna walk over so you can get a sense of what that's like. You'll probably get a little bit of wind noise here. But right now, essentially you just got you know the road behind me, nothing else really going on. And as I get closer to them, you'll start to pick up the fans that are whirring right now because they're running. Sun is shining as you can tell. And you get a sense of kind of how loud these can be. Now, if you're in a rural area or somewhere else you can put these far away from your house, totally fine, who cares? But as you can see, my neighbor's house is literally about 10 feet away and with both of these things running at full blast, it can be pretty annoying. So imagine you're trying to sit outside and have a nice relaxing day or whatever and you've got these things going, not ideal. Plus, when you actually turn the water on, the water pumps inside of them run, it makes this sound. And so, on our garage here, for a while, I think they might have changed something. They came out and did some maintenance once, but the, uh, the whole garage would shake, and it would just be this crazy sound. Uh, that actually is not nearly as bad as just the fans running if you're just sitting outside, but it certainly was pretty jarring the first time we heard it, and it's something that I hope that they could improve. And while I mentioned that we generated more than we could drink, that didn't mean that we didn't ever run out of water. On several occasions, we would have to switch back to our under sink water filter to let the panels fill back up. Now they did come out one time in November to fix a fault in the system that they noticed without me doing anything. And that happened to be when we were having some issues with the water. So that could have been one of the causes as well. Another thing that we discovered was that this water can get pretty warm in the summer months. Basically, because the water line itself just runs on our roof line and this PVC pipe, the sun just bakes it. And then when it comes out of its tap, it can get really warm. It's still drinkable, but not ideal. You'll definitely wanna put it in ice cubes or something like that. The simple solution here is to have a refrigerator with a water dispenser and use that for your tap instead of something in the sink like I have. Otherwise, you'll have to look at installing some sort of water chiller or a machine on your counter to cool the water, which adds to the cost and kind of makes takes up a lot of room and defeats the purpose of having this beautifully integrated system. It's, it's kind of ugly, this extra thing just sitting there. Another question I saw a lot in the last video was about the water quality itself. So here's a water quality test I did as an example to show the different levels. This test is between our water from the source hydro panels and our regular tap water. I wanted to see exactly how far apart these are. And if you look here, we have a close to zero pH level for the source water, zero alkalinity, zero chlorine, and practically zero hardness. This water really is kind of perfect in that sense. Now with the tap water, we have high levels of pH, extreme alkalinity, 
and close to zero chlorine, and then medium to high hardness. I also tested the nitrate levels, both of which were zero for the source water panel. The copper test showed zero, and the lead test came back negative as well. So overall, the source hydro panels are far better quality than our tap water. But that doesn't mean that you couldn't get a reverse osmosis system that wouldn't be good enough for your family to live off. So is this right for you? Well, if you live in a suburban neighborhood like I do with a decent water supply and homes relatively packed close together, I don't think it's a good fit. At least not until they can make it far quieter and possibly with a smaller footprint on their roof. But just because this might not be right for me, given my situation, doesn't mean that it's not right for anyone. In fact, the people that can benefit the most from this tech are some of the people that are in the most dire need of all throughout the world. Right now in 2021, there are over 2.5 billion people on this planet in need of clean drinking water. And by 2050, MIT estimates that half of the world's population will be in what they call a water stress environment. That's over 4 billion people, or more than 10 times the population of the United States currently. And every year, over 3.5 million people die from water-related diseases. As of this recording, that would mean almost 1 million people dead in 2021 alone because of their lack of access to clean drinking water. That's not the whole story either. Bottled water is a massive industry, and solutions like Source can significantly reduce the amount of plastic waste and CO2 needed to get water in people's hands. In fact, over 100 million water bottles are used every single day, and only one in five, if that, are recycled. This leads to almost 1,500 water bottles thrown away in a landfill or in the ocean every single second. Like right now, and right now, and right now. And remember the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? Well, it's not getting any smaller. And at this rate, we could have more plastic in the ocean than fish by 2050. So plastic waste is a serious problem. And these panels being completely self-contained, working anywhere with humidity above 10%, means that almost anywhere in the world, you can have clean drinking water and it is completely renewable. Plus, it's a fraction of the cost of setting up water treatment plants and all the infrastructure you would do in a traditional build out. This is a product that can really help the world. And that is why I really am excited about trying to spread this message and even get more eyeballs on this product. Because as you can see in some of the examples here, they're really doing great things in a lot of communities like this one in Colombia or like this community here in Australia. So if you can share this video, like this video, tell someone about this because this can be at least part of the solution to one of the world's biggest challenges right now. And if you missed the original install video, I'm gonna put it over here for you if you wanna go back and watch that. Otherwise, make sure to get on our email list because YouTube tends to not share all these videos out there. You can do so, it's totally free. We just send you anytime we do a new video. Link in the description or just go to bensolens.com slash join. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget, when you free the data, your mind will follow. I'll see you back here in the next one.